Yeah, guys, so I hope you can hear me. I know the video is kind of low, and I'm having technical issues over here. <laughs> Everything is acting up, but yeah, I was just going over what I made for yesterday. Yesterday was the sixth Friday, so I was just trying to post up what I made and what my account's looking like. You know, Monday, like I said, I'm coming even harder. I'm gonna take some bigger trades um, and make some real bigger money. A lot more money. So, plan your own plan, trade your own trade. I'm just saying, if you had listened to even one of the stocks that I, that I called out and took a chance, $100, $50, whatever, you would have made some money. That's how you, right now, this is one of the best ways to make real money out here. I don't know what job I could go and work right now and tell you that I made $87,000 in a week and $30,000 in a half an hour or an hour while sitting in the couch or <laughs> whatever, sitting in the hammock. You know, it just don't work like that. So that's why I like the stock market. You know, you can be a millionaire from your phone. All you need is internet and a good broker, accountant, lawyer. <laughs> Anyways, guys, my account, my, my day yesterday, like I said, $88,000. dollars real good, real nice. I'm gonna try to put the pictures up here. The video might not be even long enough to put up all the pictures up there from my two accounts. Um, also, the second round of the competition I'm in, with that Weeble thing ended today, yesterday. It ended with me being at number 247 out of 8,900 and something people. That's where I ranked. There's a round three, starting Monday. So if you sign up for a Weeble account, I'll get a free stock, you get a free stock. And you can join this competition. You don't have to spend any money to join it. Um, they give you $10,000. You can only use 30% of the 10,000 to buy stocks that you want to trade. There are rules to it. You can only buy certain stocks. That's why I'm not number one right now. I promise you this. When I went to go and join the competition, I did it on the morning that the competition started. So I basically went in with my list of stocks I wanted to buy. And I, I promise you, nine of the stocks that I wanted to buy was not allowed because a lot of them were considered as penny stocks. If, it's a, if, if the stock is below $5, it's considered as a penny stock, you know, because it could. But anyways, yeah, they wouldn't let me buy most of my stock. So I had to make a rough decision. I just bought one of my favorite, you know, good stocks. It's an American company. It's a healthcare company. Um, it's actually, I think it's Gilead Science, G-L-I-D. That stock is a very good stock. It's like $50 a share. It doesn't go down much. Healthcare is booming right now. So that's why you see my account just sitting steady like that. Like the whole time I didn't buy, sell, da, da, da. a lot of people bought like hundreds of stocks and you know, watch their thing go up and down. They sell them a bunch of times. I haven't sold my stocks yet. I bought them, I put them in there and they're just doing great things like they're supposed to, like Donald Trump said. We're doing great things over here, folks. <laughs> so yeah, check out my videos, man. If I've been, posting videos since Monday and I'm not the kind of guy to go on YouTube and post videos. I watch a lot of people on here. I've watched people that try to teach you how to trade stocks. It didn't really work for me because I feel like I have my own idea of how to go about it but according to them you're supposed to do it that way and you know ever since I was young I grew up in Jamaica. I'm not much of a follower man. You should follow me if anything. Do you know the way? <laughs> I'm just playing people. I'm just trying to be in a up mood. I'm going to be gone for the weekend. And I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you guys have a good weekend too, man. I hope you made some money. I hope you could go out and enjoy the finer things in life. If you listen to me, you would be able to. Um, I'm not saying I'm a genius. I'm not saying I'm always right. But if you checked, I started putting my, um, videos up here. I think it was Monday or before that, and I promise you, ever since I've put these videos up here, I've been recommending INO, VXRT, CODX, and NVC, and stuff like that. And those stocks, like I said in my videos, are always gonna be hot right now because of the coronavirus situation. <clears throat> so if you really wanna make some money, man, take a chance. 
I'm pretty sure there are people out there that um, spend real money to be in training classes and they still don't understand what they're doing with the stock market yet. It is very simple and straightforward how I look at the stock market. I look at it from a different point of view because, you know, I think a certain way. I'm a unique person. You see how Elon Musk is? You see people didn't believe in him with his whole idea and da 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 That's kind of like me. I'm not saying I'm Elon Musk, but I'm doing this with a... I have a reason behind my buying and selling stocks. Ultimate goal is I would like to buy my country back from the government. <laughs> that might sound funny, but, yo, the whole Jamaica is for sale, if you didn't know, yo. They don't sold the airline. They don't sold the natural resources that we had there that we were using to make stuff. We don't got nothing going on besides the tourists. Thank you guys for visiting Jamaica and stuff, keeping it afloat. But pretty soon, Jamaica ain't going to be Jamaica no more, man. That's worrying me. So maybe if I can make a couple of million dollars, maybe a couple of billion U.S. dollars and go down there and say, hey, listen, Mr. President, What's up? I'm pretty sure I could make a deal, you know. Everything is for sale. Every, anyways, the only thing they didn't sell yet is the people. Well, can't even say that because we are, we are, we 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 joined up with the IMS too, so they done sold them too. Good lord, but yeah. So I have goals. I have plans. I ain't just doing this to do it. Simple Minds, man. One of my favorite songs. Simple Minds. Don't you forget about me. 88,000 and change. I think I traded seven or eight stocks for the whole week. Yesterday, I really only traded like three stocks. The DRAD. Um, v, I know, VRXT is there. I think VRXT is up to... Twelve or thirteen thousand dollars in my account. It's value. I didn't sell it because it's gonna be valued way more than what it is. I'll wait for that. I don't have no need to go to liquidate everything in my account right now for what. So yeah, check out the video, guys. Check out the stocks. Check out the pictures I'm putting. You could check and see how I really did. It ain't just me talking. I got the numbers up there to match it. The numbers don't lie like the people said. People lie, people lie. People come up here and tell you this and that. Well, I got the numbers. You could go back and check the time when my trades happened and look at the charts and see that that price was that price, 20,000, 30,000 share. And that's, there's three accounts that I'm dealing with here. And I'm not sitting in front of 10 monitors. I set it up, you know, like that baking guy with that, rotisserie chicken you set it and forget it <laughs> you put that limit and forget about it you i gotta I adjust my limits every now and again if i'm trying to buy something and it's hot it's gonna be going up i might go up at 10 cents 20 cents but for the most part man i just said i just set it up and i forget it so thanks guys for watching I'm about to go take my trip feeling in a good mood listening to this simple mind Change up in my music, you know, I listen to everything. Music is music, man. When music hits you, you feel no type of pains, man. So, about to sign off. I will be making another video, probably before Monday. I don't take work with me when I go for my little trips. I like to travel, I do a lot of traveling. That's, that's another perk of doing all of this work is you get to relax and travel, man. Go somewhere, people look at you and they would never know who you are, what your bank account looks like. Trust me, I have this issue with the bank. Go in the bank and tell them you want X amount of money. They look at you and tell you, you gotta come back in two, three days. They have to order the money. What is that real or did they just do that to me? Like if you went to the bank, let's just be hypothetical here. It happened to me before and it happens. Depends where I am. If I'm in certain states or whatever. Let's say one time, right? I went to the bank. I was going to an auction. I, I'm, I, I buy and sell cars. Long before I was doing stocks, I was a car dealer. But we're not gonna get into that right now. But what I did was I went to the bank and I was at an auction. I needed like thirty thousand dollars cash to go pay for the cars I bought in the auction. 
And oh my God, that was like one of the worst experiences of my life. They called the bank that I opened the account with. They checked my ID a few times. They called in a couple different managers. And at the end of all of this, they told me, oh, you know, we don't keep that kind of money on hand. It's for the people that's coming in. If you want to withdraw that kind of money, you got to tell us days in advance, make an appointment. That's why I don't like to deal with banks, man. It's my money and I need it now, goddammit. Anyway, guys, um, pretty soon you'll be having these issues too. Just buy a couple of these stocks, make some money, set up your future. Pretty soon, ain't gonna be no jobs once the AIs take over. Did you guys know that AI is already in the stock market? Like, I'm a regular person, I'm a human being trading. Do you know that there are computers that do trading in the stock market? Can you imagine what that's like? Long before I get the news about a stock popping, the AI is gonna know. Once it hits, you know, the internet, it, AI is gonna already know. It's gonna remember the earnings report coming up. It's gonna have its own limits to, to buy and sell stocks. How are you gonna compete with that? You can't. So me making eighty-eight thousand dollars on the on this week is really chump change comparing to what those things are crunching out. Those people are doing in real life. So. I'm just trying to set up for my future. Whew. Trying to make a better tomorrow for everybody. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Send me a message if you think I can help you with anything. I've already put my stocks out there that I'm going to be dealing with for next week. If you notice, only very rarely do I ever say buy this stock, like like Friday morning when I said DRAD was a hot stock. Um, I don't like to try to tell somebody what to do. I like, back home in Jamaica, we have a saying, you can bring the donkey to the water, but you can't make him drink it. Guys, I could tell you the stock says hot, but I can't make you buy them. You can listen to me tell you what's hot in the morning, and then in the evening, I'll show you my account to show you I was in BS and then show you the money I made, and then you can sit back and say, well, wow, I wish I put $100 in that and I would have made that. People, I spend more than that on, you know, certain things on a daily basis. What's well, $100? I mean, it's money. It's real money. It's a lot of money, but look at the upside of it. You know, you got to take a chance, man. If you buy a lottery ticket, you, you should be able to buy a, a, a stock. A stock is more safe than a lottery ticket. If you don't win the lottery, that's it. If I buy a stock and it goes down tomorrow, it's fine. That's still there. It still has value. And it'll probably go back up the next day. So make good choices, man, like I tell my son. Make good choices. You know. Anyway, guys, I gotta go. Have a good day. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Hope your account is looking like mine. It should be, because I told you guys what to buy. I recommended them. But you gotta plan your own plan and trade your own trade. Always. If you wanna send me a message, I have an Instagram account. It's J-A-M-A-I-C-A-S-T-O-C-K-T-R-A-D-E-R. -E Call my account Jamaica Stock Trader trying to be unique out here. I don't see a lot of my Jamaican friends in the stock market. And they would do really well. We have a certain way of thinking, man. I don't know. It seems like when you go to college, you're taught to think a certain way. Versus, like, I've been working all my life. So, I think differently, you know. And I'm a neutral person in the world. I don't have any bias towards anybody. I love everybody. I don't care where you're from. I don't care what color you are. You know, growing up in Jamaica, we never. I never had those issues. I never really knew what being black meant or, you know, the stuff that comes with that. But that's for a whole nother video, people. I'm just saying, you know, I look at the world in a whole different light. So maybe that's why I, I deal with the stock market the way I do. But... Guys, have a good day. I'm going to touch her road, as they say, you know? So I'll catch you guys in my next video. This was just an update of what happened yesterday and the rest of the week. I put a video up there, I think, every day with my account so you guys could keep track and see what I've been doing.
and I'll even show how much I bought my stocks for, how much I sell them for, so you can get an idea my entry and my exit points. And in my mind, you know, yeah, I do trade in big volume, so I make more money off of each stock, and I, I stand a chance of losing more on each stock too, but I'm that confident. I'm not cocky, I'm confident, it's, it's different. Um, so even if I was using a $500 account or a $1,000 account with these stocks, I would still go in and make, you know, I would, if I put $100 in there, I'm doubling that money that day and moving on. If I put $5,000, i am doubling that what I used that day and I'm moving on. Or, you know, I'm going to make X amount of profit off of my investment and I'm moving along. That's just how it is. Flipping money. A lot of these young guys I went to school with probably out here trying to flip money in a different way. This is the legal way. This is the suit and tie way. This is the pull up in the Bentley and people got to respect you because, you know, they know you're not no drug dealer. Well, the ones I know, you know, you might be new money, but you're real money. That's what counts. So, big up all my guys, all my friends that went to Westside High School in Newark. You know, that's my alma mater that they call that. I went there, I went to Westside in 98. Um, good times, real good times. But I thank you, we thank you, Simple Minds thank you. Check out my next video guys. Thank you for watching, have a good weekend. Subscribe, like, and share.